Hey, welcome back guys, this is Robbie, your parts, and today we have another update on Project CB. We're going on episode 12. Today we're gonna smash on the interior. Pretty easy day today, because I definitely worked my ass off over the weekend. So we're taking it a little easy today, but, which is pretty cool, because we gotta get the uh, seats in eventually, and the steering wheel, so we can actually drive the thing and have some fun. As if you guys have been following, we got suspension all in. Gotta tighten everything up. We finally got the radiator in, the header. The engine compartment's coming together, just gotta put the intake and the battery, redo the fluids. I think I might mess with the clutch and swap that out in the slave cylinder and, and just that way it's all nice and fresh, that way it feels good once we do start driving it, have a nice pedal feel. But today we're going to put in some planted brackets. And I ordered the planted ones because those ones have a lot of adjustment on them. Um, the holes for the mounting of the seats is, are pretty much long so you can kind of go left to right and front to back, so it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and jump in to see what they look like and then we'll go ahead and put them in the project. Let's go. Bam, here we go guys. This is gonna be the planted seat bracket. This fits the fourth and fifth gen Accords. This is the passenger side and I do have the driver side already in the car. Just want to see how easy it was to put in and I'll tell you right now, the, they mock right in. They pretty much, no drilling, no cutting, nothing. They dropped right in which was really nice. You do have to put the bolts in a certain way in a, I guess in a certain order and don't torque them down because you need a little bit of adjustment to line it up But once it's in there, it's pretty solid and then we're gonna go ahead and smash the shifter in there today Fix it up yesterday makes it all nice and pretty and then I got a knob because that stock one was crap And just picked up a hybrid racing one They came out with a new series of them I think and this one looked really cool so thought I'd grab that up All right, so here's the driver side planted bracket and it pretty much utilizes all the stock locations. So you have the two in the front and then you have the two in the back right here, that one. And there's one tucked under there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just torque those down. And again, I have the seat. I haven't decided on which one. Maybe you guys can help suggest what you think seat would be nice. I'm looking at Recaro and Sparco. And actually was looking at OMP. They have some really cool seats and I like actually the stitching on the back where it's kind of like a diamond kind of stitching cross check thing, I guess you want to say, I don't know. It looks really, really cool. But let me know what seats you guys uh, maybe have in preference that, that you guys already have and you know maybe can suggest something that's really comfortable because this is going to be a track car, so I do want a fixed position seat. And see, what I did on the, the last one was I did this one on the closest to the column first because you need a little bit of pressure to press down to get that one to line up because that's what it pretty much puts it under tension. Golly, that one was tight. That one was a pain in the ass for being the first one. It's just really slim and the bolt barely even fits in there, but I did get it in. And what's cool is this one actually lines up a lot better. So that one lined up okay. I just got, I think, lifted up. I can't really see it from there, but somewhere lined up right there. And then on this side, actually is lined up really, really good. And this back one, I don't know if I can get a picture of that one either, but this back one is lined up really well also. So this one actually fits really, really good compared to this one, which didn't fit bad at all. Just had to literally push on it just to get the last screw in, and that's about it, or bolt in, I guess you want to say. So I'm going to tidy this one up, get it all nice and fresh, and we're going to go ahead and pop the shifter in, and you can see it's going to be coming together. Let me get those seats. Bam, all done, they look fresh. These are just to mock up. I know I gotta take them back out to put the rails on and stuff, but I just wanna make sure that they did fit the CB7 coupe. Just wanna make sure 100%. Here's the part number if you guys are interested in getting them. And I already put the cable and the clips in. These are pretty easy, just make sure when you put them in that this cable goes in from the back and then goes straight through. You don't put this cable in from the side. And then what happens, you're gonna have a little like two millimeter gap in between the plate and and the uh, ring, and that's where that clip slides into. You just tap it in with a little hammer or something, real easy, and it should slide right in. There should not be a ton of ton of tension in there. If there is, then it's binding or something like that. Those are super easy to go in. And then all the holes are lined up. Everything looks good on that end. Looks good with the knob, huh? See, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't really stay up. See how easy that is and just, It's because there's no linkage connected, obviously. All right, so we got all the hardware down here, and we're gonna go ahead and put it on. So this is one of the bottom pieces, and these bushings are kind of worn, but I really didn't want to have to go buy them, especially when we're gonna use the K-Tune one eventually, so they'll work for right now. 
Okay, we got that bottom piece on. And then we got some another crappy bushing. Slide that bad boy. Grab the extended bolt. Make sure it's lined up. That might help, huh, Rob? There you go. So it's going to look something like that when all four of them are done. I'm going to finish these up, take me a couple minutes, and then we will get all the linkage, the actual linkages on. And then hopefully get to that slave cylinder and replace that really easy. I'm just going to have to bleed it. Get a buddy out here, Nick or something, to come help me bleed it. Shifter is in, brackets are in, knob is on. So now let's get to the steering and the wheel. So what I have planned is this bad boy, a Momo tuner, and I really like it. It's nice and simple, black with red stitching, real leather, good for the street. But here's, here's the thing, so NRG has a little like a race style hub that they offer now, or you could, I was gonna go with the traditional you know, the short style that all you guys are used to. The short one goes on just like this, right? But then it actually acts as the end of the quick release. So the short hub acts as this piece, whereas normally I would have to, ha I would have to install that beforehand. And then this will go ahead and slide onto that little hub. All right, so that's how that one's gonna go on. And then I'd put the wheel in front of that. I actually think I like the short hub for some reason. This race one has like a little gap in behind here and it just looks kind of weird. Maybe if I have a different type of column or something, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna put the flat one on back to the just original style and go with that for right now. All right, so we got the wheel on. Everything looks really good and I went with the actual just the short hub, not the race hub. This is how it's gonna look. Sweet. Let's get some seats in there and a bar so we can put some harnesses in. We should be ready to rock. Oh. Looks pretty good. Feels good too, like it's nice and sturdy. Man, one thing I really messed up on was throwing this door panel away. I still have the other one and I'm realizing that these aren't as easy to come by as I thought and then with the electrical kind of hanging there and stuff It was a little bit bigger to guess project to get in than I want to deal with right now So I guess I'm gonna have to either find one or do some type of sheet panel just to cover up all this just So it doesn't look as hideous. I haven't decided yet, but that's someone I'm have to dig into Thank you once again guys. I appreciate all the comments and support again project CB is coming along nicely We should have it on the ground within a number of days now and uh, that'll be really exciting so there's a happy new year coming up really soon and the holidays and I hope all you guys are having a blessed day and actually a blessed, you know, this whole year coming up is going to be totally awesome. 2019 is going to look nice and fresh. So thank you again. Remember always live your dream. This is Robbie, your parts and I'll talk to you later. Bye.